Ever wondered why you have to go to sleep? Ever heard someone snore so loudly the room rumbles? We're about to tell you why. This is a case for investigation ouch. You spend a third of your life doing absolutely nothing. I'd hardly call picking my nose nothing. I'm not talking about your disgusting personal habits. I'm talking about sleep. All animals do it, including us, and it's essential for life. So to find out more about it, we're going to bed. To discover what happens when we sleep, we're spending the night in this special sleep clinic. Monitoring us will be sleep expert, Dr. Wahab Dehamet. So sleep is not just sleep. There are different types of sleep. Absolutely. And some of the types of sleep relax your brain and recharge that, and other types of sleep recharge your body. Basically, yes. And that's why we, that's why we need sleep. Hi, Chris. Hi, Zan. It's time for us to go to sleep. Dr. Waheb sets the computers up to record the night ahead, and I'm hoping this will prove, once and for all, that Zan snores. He's always denied it. Mr. Grumbles knows I never snore. No, Mr. Grumbles. Next morning, and it's time to get up. Other people say I snore, but I really maintain that I don't. I think they're all liars. All will be revealed shortly, Zan. I didn't sleep very well at all. We're both looking a bit weary. Oh, dear. Let's find out why we're both so tired. Chris, this line here, that's for when you were awake, and then here you slept, that's different sleep staging, and then here you were awake, and then you slept again, and then you were awake. So in terms of a good night's sleep, I only had, what, two and a half hours. Although I was in bed for six hours, I only was actually asleep for two and a half, and that is just not enough. And not only does my body feel very tired, my brain feels really thick-headed and unrested as well. So how did mine compare to Chris's? You had more sleep. And how long did I sleep? Four and a half hours. So I got twice as much sleep as you. But even four hours sleep isn't enough for your body to rest, especially when you're young. Children need at least eight hours because you're still growing and your body needs to work harder. Chris and I are adults and we can get away with less, but it still makes us feel very tired. What about dreaming? How do we compare on that? Well, Chris, uh, I don't think you had a dream at all. Xan, you had two. Although I had a full sleep cycle, it was pretty restless and I just didn't dream, which can happen sometimes. But look at this section of the graph. I had lots of rapid eye movements, and this suggests that I was dreaming. How long were the dreams? Are they are they well, short dreams, or...? One of them is half an hour. Was half an hour. Really? Yes. Half an hour of dreaming? What about snoring? You did a snore. Sorry. I did? Yeah. OK, Zand, there's the proof. You do snore. Oh, dear. How much of the time was I snoring? 7% of the night. Not everyone snores like me. But people who do snore can't move air freely through their nose or mouth during sleep. So the air vibrates against the relaxed muscles in their throat and nose. And that's what makes that snoring sound. You sleep for a third of your life, but you're not doing nothing while that's going on. You're recharging your brain and you're recharging your body. So if you don't get enough sleep, that's going to affect everything you do. And you'll feel absolutely rubbish. <laughs>